I wanted to use a um, one of my SLR cameras to do recording because I have a macro lens. I wanted to get good macro lens uh, recordings of just time lapses anyway. So it doesn't really need to shoot video. It just needs to be able to trigger pictures like every 15 seconds. So I wanted to use my old Pentax K100 um, with this uh, Arduino thing. And this is an infrared... A remote for the Pentax cameras, and these people found a cool way to use the Arduino to send a, just send a trigger signal to this uh, remote through this MPN transistor here that would automatically, or based on the programming on the Arduino, it would you know trigger it however many seconds you wanted, or do whatever you wanted, I guess, based on that. Um, unfortunately. I wanted to use my old Pentax K100, and I realized that the damn infrared I ripped off ages ago, and I'm not sure what wire goes to what. There's three wires, and it was hard to find that on the internet. But then I realized that this thing actually is really cool for that, um, since it has the AC in, which I have my fancy 6.5 volt adapter doing right now. Um, and something I didn't realize about this, uh, that's cool, like, this is why I never throw this kind of crap out, because I had this little 16th inch adapter cord, I didn't know what the hell I need it for, but it's perfect for this, because you need it for this, and I think the original remote I have for this was just a one button, but apparently there's two button functionality, because if I, there you go, now it's on autofocus mode, and now if I move my hand slightly, You know, it's on picture taking mode. So I guess I'm going to set up my time lapse set up just like that. Um, I never automated like a trigger push like that, but I guess it's probably easier than this whole infrared thing, if not extremely similar. I might wind up using that Arduino to do a very similar thing anyway. This is pretty cool. Um, I have it in the Arduino ID here. I basically just use the um, the button demo, and I use some. Uh, well, it's basically very simple code <laughs> um, that just uh, writes the one data pin high, <coughs> which uh, puts uh, five volts on it. And I uh, use this uh, different different YouTube video. Where is that YouTube video? This guy. Very good video. Um, and it's funny because I wasn't sure he uses it for this 12 volt motor, but you don't have to have any voltage going through it. The 5 volts goes into the MOSFET, um, but the way it's set up with the drain. It basically just connects those wires together like you're hitting a button. It's pretty cool. All it is is a 10K ohm resistor uh, between the... Uh, I don't think it matters if it's in front of the MOSFET or behind it since it's all connected together. But that connects to the gate and the source, the two far end pins. And then the drain, uh, the middle pin... <clears throat> just connects to one side of the uh, the switch button basically and then uh, the Arduino is programmed every eight seconds just uh, see here uh, yeah I just Define that as a different pin that I could change. Pin 9, I guess it's on right now. <clears throat> so that pin 9 is just this D9 on here. So that's neat how they make that so easy because they label it right on there and then you go into their software and you just say 9. <laughs> you plugged it into 9 and then 9 is the one you use. So nice and easy.
been working for like 10 hours. I can't believe how long it's taken to mill this thing out here. But uh, little Arduino robot's doing its job good.